if somebody is new to LinkedIn, I mean, everybody in the business has heard about, has heard the name and they decide I'm going to start my profile now. Of course, first step is uh, putting your CV online. But then if this person says, I only have five to 10 minutes each day, what should they do to, to, to make the most of LinkedIn? First of all, five to ten minutes is plenty uh, because you actually have uh, an opportunity to be very efficient on the tool, uh, the way it's designed. Um, the way I would I would suggest to use the tool is uh, to, in addition to the profile, to build a strong network of connections because the tool becomes uh, disproportionately more useful and, and helpful if you have a good network. It's a social network after all, so you want to have those contacts represented on LinkedIn. Um, and after that, uh, to start building either your content uh, uh, as an author or to start exploring the content on LinkedIn. There are millions of items of content that can be extremely useful and, and helpful, what, what, whatever your industry or your function or your job. Um, so I think that would be probably what I would suggest to a, a new user to do. About building that, uh, that network, there's a lot of discussion going on. How important is it to restrict connections to your own industry? There, is the, there are these Lion accounts, you know, that LinkedIn open networkers, you know, people who just try to, to get a as many connections as possible. Personally, I I accept every connection from people I know in real life naturally, but then virtual contacts are 90% from the online marketing industry in my case. What's better, as many contacts as possible or a narrower network but more focused? Well, it depends very much on what you want to get out of the tool. But in general, you know, the the the, the guide, the, the suggestion I always give to uh, my friends who ask me this question is, Connect with the people you feel comfortable, you know, connecting in real life, uh, and think about if this person then comes back to you asking for a recommendation or an introduction, would you be actually be comfortable uh, doing that? Do you know that person? Uh, and and so I think that's a good guideline in general. Um, whether it's in your industry or not, uh, it depends very much on on uh, what you know what your goals are. Uh, with LinkedIn, but um, you know, if you have connections in other industries, you never know if it could actually be helpful to you uh, in the in the future. And so that's that's something that I wouldn't exclude for that reason. Mm -hmm.